Casting directors are the people responsible for filling roles in movies, television shows, and sometimes stage plays. A successful casting director is someone who can find the best actor for the job. Now let's run down the do's and do nots of working with a casting director. Again, just like when you're trying to land an agent or a manager, do submit a headshot and a resume. Do be on time to all of your auditions. That's very, very important and I can't stress it enough. Whether you do well at an audition or whether you're not right for the part, showing the casting director that you're committed and will never waste their time is an absolute must. Do be at your very best. That means having your skills honed and being professional. Do be flexible. Sometimes a casting director will want to shoot your audition with a camera. Sometimes they'll just watch you read. So do be prepared for both. Now let's run down the do nots of casting directors. Do not refer to them as a casting agent. There's no such thing. It's always casting director. I know it can be confusing, all these different people with the different titles, but showing them the proper respect makes a big difference. When you don't get the part or don't even get called to the casting session, do not take anything personally. If you don't land the role, it could be for a number of reasons, like you didn't exactly have the right look or the right energy. Finally, do not ever apologize if you feel like you gave a bad reading. Casting directors do not want to hear you're sorry. They don't care. Just smile, say thank you, and do better next time, period. It's important to be a good boss. Now, that means listening to the feedback of your agent or your manager and all the casting directors you work with. Take their suggestions. It's all about getting you the roles that you want to play. Now, that doesn't mean to do everything they say. Remember, you're the boss. And if you're unhappy, don't be afraid to make a change. Even if you like your agent and your manager as a person, if the way they handle you and your career doesn't feel right, the best thing you can do for yourself and for them is to find someone else whose way of working works for you. That's it for our lesson on agents, managers, and casting directors. Remember to be grateful for the work your support staff does. Little things like saying thank you mean a lot to them. Remember to be polite and to be humble. They'll all want to work harder for you if they know that they're appreciated. Good luck in finding the right people to help you achieve your dreams. I'll see you next time.